Hey guys, my name is Tansen Cabela and welcome to my channel. So today we did a two-part makeup video basically focusing on the eyebrows and the eyeliner and the face was done off camera because you guys have seen me but then more face beats are coming on here like more natural beats without highlighter. I'm so loving the look without highlighter this day. So basically what I did, I did my eyebrows. I showed you how I do my eyebrows, how I do them. So don't you be coming here thinking that you're supposed to, you're supposed to. I feel like everybody does their eyebrows in their own different way, like a way that you feel comfortable in. But then just in case you are not good in doing eyebrows or you haven't Found that comfort with just doing your eyebrows or doing your wing eyeliner I just provided some steps because I know doing my eyebrows is hard figuring out that base and knowing what to do and having that comfortability the the comfortability and the motion of doing a wing eyeliner so basically um, this is what the eyebrows in the eyeliner looks like with the full look put to get there so part one is the eyebrow and then part two is the wing eyeliner the wing eyeliner was so quick and easy due to the essence long last um liquid eyeliner that i literally use every day didn't i tell you that this b is black this b is so black and i love loves loves it so thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time seeing my face or if you haven't subscribed yet i'm gonna give you five seconds to subscribe before you proceed Thank you for subscribing. You are welcome to the TM team. You are a TM team player and you are the best. And Tans is here to bring you VIP content because you are a VIP viewer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you next week on my next video. So if you want to see how we got to the eyebrows and the eyeliner and you want to get Detailed tips on how to master your eyeliner skills and your eyebrow skills. <gasps> Carry on watching. Let's go. Hey, my lovely. So today we are doing an eyebrow tutorial. I've been trying to get this lens up like quite close, but I don't want to over zoom everything. So we are going to do this eyebrow here. As you can see, I'm already baking and I'm getting ready. So what I usually do, I do my eyebrows before or after I'm done baking. So to avoid the powders like... I'm lightening or erasing any lines that I've drawn on using the eyebrow pencil. I've used an eyebrow pomade before, but nowadays I prefer using a eyebrow pencil. But then this is an eyeliner. This is a Wet n Wild Coal um, eyeliner pencil in the color Sima Brown. So basically, what I do with this, I just uh, comb out my hairs like so. I forgot my mirror and I was about to do my eyebrow else without this. I hope this doesn't um, stop us from doing what we do. I actually come at my hairs like so, but then this is the latest that I've done. I feel like sometimes if I want like a bushy, bushy, not bushy, bushy natural one, um, I just come it out like so and I haven't shaped my brows in a long while. So when I get to the front, I pay more attention. So I'm like... My hand, it's a little bit lighter than when I was doing it on the side. So I'm basically like, I'm doing false hair strokes and I'm literally using this eyeliner to actually place my eyebrows like upwards, like I want them to stay up, but then that's okay. We are going to use um, something to keep them up. And then after I'm done doing it like so, you can see it looks a bit tacky. Not a bit, it looks tacky. So what are we going to do? We're going to start um, shaping it out. I'm going to draw a line, but the line doesn't start from here. I only started from um, almost uh, on the tail, but I also want an arc. So what I do, and also on top, I don't start it from the front because I still want that naturally uh, bushy commie flow, flow up here. I always lose myself. So today I'm going with a different shape and I want the tail to like cut a bit. Um, it doesn't matter if it looks a bit messy for now because we are going to clean it up using concealer. Today I'm using concealer because I want to put an um, like eyeshadow. So I go over the front like so, little tiny strokes. So um, the eyebrow has something to follow. So this is what the eyebrow looks like without um, actually um, using concealer. Right now we're going to clean it up with concealer and also do some touch-ups. Also add in some tiny little hair strokes and let's see where this goes. <laughs> so 
basically to hey guys so basically to clean out we're gonna be using the fit me concealer this is in the color for zero i think it's in the color caramel um this is a concealer and a corrector today i'm going all the way light with um concealing my brows because i will be wearing um eyeshadow so i use this concealer brush from wet n wild i'm not sure if you guys can see it i used it on my last makeup tutorial and i did say um this is an affordable makeup brush and it's great for concealer and i think it's synthetic heads because it literally feels like it's synthetic so i've placed the concealer on my hand like this to warm up with the product a bit so let's get with the cleaning so i'm gonna start with the tail and i hope you guys can see I'm going to start, um, let me do it like so, before I mess up my brow. Do it in little strokes. Don't like overdo it and just go psh. Only um, people who have been using, like doing this for years um, can actually do that. And like I've been doing my eyebrows for years now. But I still take my time due to the fact that I don't want to mess up my makeup and I don't want to start afresh. When I do something, I want to finish it. So I want my tail to be a bit sharp today. So I'm going to bring the concealer down here because I'm also going to be using it as a primer. So as you can see, the eyebrow is coming together. And I hope that this is visible for you guys because um, this camera has a poor lens. But then um, with growth and more, we'll be getting better lenses um, for the channel. And then, um, yeah, it's great content, VIP content for my VIP people. And I'm going to add some more concealer, of course, because I want it to be sharp today. Just because I'm doing a tutorial with you guys. I'm also going to prime my eyes right here on camera so it doesn't look weird. So, um, and we already have our arc here. It depends what kind of shape you want to follow. If you follow this step and you follow the type of shape that you want, sometimes I love my eyebrow to be like squarey and to be like sharp. Sometimes I love them to be like simple, especially when I'm wearing my hair natural. I love my eyebrows to be like um, some type of natural but then um some type of natural but then not too like natural so i'm gonna bring my pencil to touch up the front to make sure that nothing has been messed up um usually i don't do the top of my eyebrows but today since i use like a light one i'm gonna use um this um next bear with me um tinted um it's tinted um i think it's tinted I don't know, it's tinted something. It, it reminds me of tinted uh, moisturizer because it's neutral, it's beautiful, and like it's great to let your skin breathe. If you're suffering from skin problems, I'd suggest that you get this one. Obviously, it's not going to hide your blemishes, but it's going to give your skin time to breathe and also make it a bit presentable. So I'm going to clean up the top of my eyebrows and I've also placed it up here and I've mixed it a bit with this light concealer. So as you can see, I have it just to warm up the product on my hand. And yeah, I'm going to start from the tail. So I managed to blend out the concealer. It was a bit too light because um, it got in the, um, that light concealer. So in order to try and avoid a halo bro, I literally, literally had to blend without um, preparing myself to blend. So this is what the eyebrow looks like. I know that you guys think that we might be done. We are not done yet. Just wait a moment. 
So basically what I do, this is just an extra step. You can X skip this extra step. I use the Smudge Skinny Felt Tip Eyeliner. And this is in black. You can get it in brown. I just prefer it in black because I can also use it as an eyeliner if I want to do my wing. But then I prefer it in black due to the fact that I'm dark skin, so it looks great on me. And I have dark hair. If I had lighter hair, I would skip this step and just um just use an eyebrow glue and just like comb it and make it natural. So what I do, I still do some fake Nyana hair strokes. This is from Smudge, by the way. I got them in like a pair of three. It's a one male. Um, it's from Clicks, and you can get Smudge at Clicks, of course. So this is what the bro looks like. It's sharp, it's dark, and it's fierce, and it's cute and skinny. It's a size 2, guys. This is a size 2 bro, but sometimes I love my bro chunky. But then if you have chunky bros and you put on your eyelashes, it just covers up everything. So the last step to this bro tutorial before we move on to the wing eyeliner. Um, what we're going to do, we are going to use this next 3-in-1 bro pencil. Um, it actually has like, I think it has a concealer and a pencil and a something something. But then I prefer using this um, because it looks like, um, it reminds me of the girl boy one, the MAC girl boy. So I just comb it to sort of like li lighten the bro. This literally lightens the bro. I make sure that I'm light handed when I do this. Because I don't want to ruin the hair strokes that I did at first. And I'm combing my hairs up and I'm taking this ones down. So basically we are done with this eyebrow. I'm happy with it. I hope that you guys are happy with it too. Let me go finish off the other one so we can go to the next part of this video. So right now we are getting to the second part of this makeup tutorial. It's not a makeup tutorial, it's eyebrows and eyeliner. I felt like the hardest thing that for me to learn angles guys just ran away. The hardest things that I it was hard, the hardest things for me to learn during my makeup phase was eyebrows and a wing eyeliner. A wing eyeliner is needed, but then it's also hard. It is so hard it, it, it bits everything else it bits contouring it bits highlighting like getting them straight and getting it right and not messing up not going over and over until you just winged lined your whole line so basically what i use for my winged eyeliner it's um this essence super lost 18 hour eyeliner this is waterproof by the way and i've had it for quite some time it finishes i restock it finishes i restock like this is the best eyeliner i've tried eyeliners from Rimmel. And then I don't know, I think from Revlon, but then there would never be as super black and the, as this one. This one lasts up the whole day, like the whole night. So let's say I'm wearing it to go out at night. It's going to last up like it lasts long. So yeah, you guys could like try and look and try find it and just try it out because it's fairly cheap. It's fairly affordable. It's also found at clicks and I also at discounts. So guys, I basically have my mirror here. So I don't know how I'm going to do this holding a mirror. I've never done it before then but, but 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 then okay guys my speech just got deterred because i'm crazy so what what i usually do i have other ways of doing my eyeliner but right now i'm going to show you this easy one that i usually do so i close my eyes like this i don't keep it quite close i keep it slightly open while looking at the mirror like so so basically i do this and i start my eyeliner from here and i just want to see if i'm oh, i'm happy with the with the what with the wing I, I think i'm happy with it so i go and join it from here and then i do i color it in little strokes little strokes and then i come back and then take it from the front short strokes and then i want to see i'm not happy about it i need a little thick so I join it, as you can see, I've already joined it, and I still want to take it to the front, but then not so much. So I close my eye like so, to join the wing. 
there's that wing there's that wing a wing is quick and easy so i kind of like this takes like a long time to dry if i open my eyes like so it could ruin my eyeshadow so basically i just air it down so so i think that's the pain of affordability sometimes like it's not quick drying maybe that's why it lasts long so that's the wing i'm happy with this wing are you guys happy with this wing though it's like it's ready to murder 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 so i take it from here so it's gonna look nice once i have my falsies on or if you're not a falsy person just put on your mascara and one girl one and be hot girl i just got it up here as you guys can see like it transfers a lot so one girl one with your bad stuff your bad bad stuff man I love it guys I love it like this is the first time attempting a wing on camera with you guys okay I did it last week but then this wing is better than last week's wing hey we get better and better so we are done I just did the other eye off camera guys thank you so much for sticking through this video I know it was long and I know it was like but guys I'm gonna leave all the products that I use on the eyebrows and also use on the eyeliner on the description bar and guys stop being quiet even if you say hey it's hands I see you and I'm like, I see you too, girl. Come on, guys, push me up on this algorithm because more content, more, more, more of tens and be a TM team player and just click the subscribe button and make sure to click the notification bell. Before I sign off on this video, I'm going to ask you to do four things for me. Comment, like, subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell and an extra five thing that you can do for me is make sure to share this video to somebody who might need it even if you see your friend who is struggling with eyebrows and you feel like you don't want to offend her you can just um share this video on your whatsapp share this video on everybody um on your whatsapp on your chat groups or everything so it can help and better her makeup his makeup game because i'm here for you guys uh, and i'm here to stay i'm here to create more content good content and we're just working towards like greatness so thank you very much for sticking through this video and just remember one thing i appreciate you each and every one of you i appreciate your love and i appreciate the new subbies that we got the new subscriber and i'd like to say welcome honey you are amazing we are all amazing and we are about to do amazing things together because this is as it's a vip circle vip VIP content, VIP viewers, and I'm about to bring you VIP content this 2020. And I'm going hard for you, and I'm here for you. So thank you very, very much. If you want to see how I uh, actually come out on um, this fro of mine, I'm going to leave that um, video on my iCard. So you can click on it after watching this video, of course, and after liking this video, of course. So I will see you on my next video. Just know one thing. I love you very, very much.